Hi, I'm Graham. I'm a member of the 20s and 30s Congregation of Greyfriars, and uh, this week on our Lent series we're studying the chapter The Cross and Identity, um, and the specific um, passage of the Bible that we're reading today is Galatians 2.20, and it reads like this. I have been crucified with Christ, and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I now live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. The context of this passage is uh, Paul um, speaking uh, to the church about uh, what it means to really be looking through the cross, as as Graham Thomas' book is is discussing for us. Um, And this passage specifically gives us some really practical steps of of, um, how that transformation, what it means for us on an individual level uh, to be accepting Christ and and how that actually looks. Um, And this verse specifically gives us um, three stages. Um, It starts by saying that um, I uh, have been crucified with Christ and I no longer live. And that is the death of our old selves. Um, The second stage is um, that Christ lives in me and that is the birth of our new self. That's the birth of um, us as uh, disciples of Christ, as followers of Christ. Um, And then the third stage is um, I now live in the body, I now live by faith in the Son of God. Um, and that is really about our life in Christ. So we have our death in uh, our death of our old selves, the birth of our new selves, and then our life in Christ. What strikes me about this is that it's it's not particularly foreign to us. We're all aware that we're meant to um, shed ourselves of our sinful selves and and become more Christ-like. Um, but what this chapter of Graham Tomlin's book is looking at, and what this verse gets to the heart of, is um, how they are two distinct things that cannot um, live together, that often the conflict in our lives comes from um, our old selves and our new selves um, being in that conflict, being in that tension. Um, And for me on a personal level, that um, actually a lot of the time the conflict in my life comes from that. So I know what what I should be doing in Christ, I know what the right things are to do in Christ, but um, but I haven't fully um, accepted that actually my old self is dead and I haven't really processed that through. Um, so I, I have some questions that, um, that I ask myself and that I think about. Um, and the first one is, uh, do I feel that my old self is dead? Um, the second is, do I feel transformed? So uh, we're taught that by accepting Christ, we should be transformed. We, Christ should live in us. Do I feel that Christ is living in me? Um, the third is that um, I believe in Christ, yes, uh, as we all do, but do I, do I live by Christ? Um, and as I pull those questions together and I think about the cross and identity, which is this chapter, um, the focus for me is where is my, my primary identity? So is the fact that, that Christ lives in me, is the fact that I live by Christ my primary identity? Or, or is it something else? Is it my, um, my house? Is it my job? Is it my friends? Is it... Um, my relationships, my status, any of those things, um, or are they secondary to Christ? Um, And that's what what I'm really going to challenge myself on based on this passage. I'm just going to close in in prayer for us today. Father God, we we thank you for your word that is so so empowering to us that we can can take such such personal... Um, application from your word and from this this passage specifically Um, I pray Lord that we will able to um, ask ourselves these questions to really um, to really challenge ourselves on a personal level um, but also that we may be able to um, speak truth into each other's lives and and really challenge in a loving way um, through that over this period of Lent and beyond Um, I just pray that your your truth and your strength um, will be in us that you will give us the courage to really go deeper with that Amen.